if you say, well, Christians kill people, Muslims kill people, every religion has crazies that kill people, uh, you sort of, you can't make a decent comparison. What I say is, forget the followers, let's look at the founders. Mm -hmm. Jesus never killed anybody. Muhammad right. killed an estimated 3,000 people. Jesus never led armies. Muhammad led armies. Jesus never owned slaves. Muhammad owned slaves. Jesus never married. Muhammad had anywhere from 11 to 22 wives. Jesus never tortured anybody. Muhammad, when he conquered Kaibar, this one city, the chief wouldn't tell where the treasure was hidden, and Muhammad had him stretched out on the ground, and they kindled a fire on his chest. Uh, Jesus didn't lie. He said, Satan's the father of liars. Muhammad permitted lying. If you feel threatened uh, by an infidel, you can lie to them. Um, and then uh, Jesus didn't force anybody to follow him. And if you th there's one uh, chapter where he multiplied loaves and fishes and has a crowd following him for a free lunch, wanting to make him king. And he says something difficult, almost intentionally, to shake away those following him for the wrong earthly reasons. Uh, but uh, Muhammad, he said, whoever changes his Islamic religion, kill him. Um, hmm. Jesus uh, never avenged insults. They're mocking him, spitting on him. Uh, Muhammad, there was a guy who had some slave girls, and he made up poems making fun of Muhammad. And when Muhammad conquered Mecca, has a list of people to kill, sort of like we handed the Taliban a list, right? And this list of people had this one guy and his three slave girls to be murdered because they made up these poems insulting Muhammad. Jesus never permitted his apostles to rape anyone. Duh, Muhammad did, right? And there's always hadiths that talk about how to do it, you know, that you're not supposed to stop short of getting them pregnant because if Allah wills for someone to come into the world, they must come into the world and so forth. 